Welcome back to this Early Talks Warriors podcast brought to you by our sponsors at Ortex. For episode 24, we're joined by our young centre, a player with a massive future, Viliami Vailea. Cheers for jumping on, bro. Hello, thanks. Still only 19 years old, bro, which is unreal to think. But let's rewind a little and go back to how things started for you because you were born in Tonga and played rugby, right? So how old were you yeah. when you first picked up a rugby ball? Uh... When I was like three years old in summer, yeah, yeah. that's when I started like tossing a ball. My dad's like, he's the coach for our village in Tonga. Yeah. And yeah, he's like, he just take me to like, make me to play rugby and like, just like my older brother when he was, when he was young, he like, my dad always did the same thing to all of us, like our brothers and that. Oh, that's awesome, bro. And then what age did you make the move over to New Zealand from Tonga? And did it have anything to do with, like, playing rugby over here? Yeah, no. Nah, well, we got until 15 and 16 for Tonga. So we moved here, come and play for school, or to school in New Zealand. And I got picked for Aulele College. I got scholarship for three years. Yeah, and I moved here in 2018. And you quickly developed a reputation in New Zealand as being one of the best rugby players at schoolboy level. Mm -hmm. So how did the Warriors notice you, bro? Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry when he was here. Like, I was playing sevens and he came up on that day. He talked to me like, they want to like see like how I play and they want me to like talk about the Warriors if I can come and play league for them. But I haven't played league in my life since yeah. I moved to Warriors. Yeah, it's pretty hard. And then I just go tell my uncle and that because I was there with my uncle and he told me just whatever I feel like I want to do, if I want to play league, then I just join them. And how did you find the transition, bro? You mentioned it was quite hard. You'd never played league before. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I came and played for SG Pro 8 um, under 18. And yeah, uh, my first game was a bit tough. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Be like kind of different from Union, yeah. So you have to be low back and you have to be like wait until you play the pool, and then you have to get up all the time. And like when they kick it back to us, you have to ch chase back the ball and you have to take like the first three carries, and that, yeah, it's and pretty hard. I can imagine, right? And what yeah. position did you play in rugby? Oh, I play a first five and full back center. And I saw some yeah. videos of you goal kicking too. So you kind of did it all, right? <laughs> we missed a couple of kicks. <laughs> and you mentioned you played for the Warriors SG ball team. And I think that season was cut short due to COVID. Yeah, 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 COVID, yeah. That's a bummer, man. And then you joined the team in Aussie for preseason. So how hard was that, bro? Because all the players talk about how hard preseason is. I can imagine it was a bit of a shock. Yeah, I wasn't even know that. I haven't been like, like that kind of hard like the training stuff yeah. but i remember when i school like we always like muck around yeah we're not even like doing like much running and stuff we just came like that day before the game day and just like do whatever we're gonna do on the field and that yeah and then i joined the warriors we came here to aussie then uh, it's like pretty tough like fitness and that like it's always like hard and i just like think like I just trying to lose, like, I don't want to, like, play anymore, like, <laughs> yeah. when, when, when the preseason is way hard, the man will tell me, yeah, he's always up, you have to, like, go on a tough way until you get to where you want to be at. Yeah, yeah my, and I, my dad always remind me, everything always going to be hard, nothing going easy on the rugby and stuff. Uh, sounds like good advice, bro. And a lot of people yeah. talk about this, so you're a good person to ask. And it's a debate amongst footy fans, but do you reckon you have to be fitter for rugby or for league? Oh, uh, so I was just thinking, like, well, when I play my first game in our last year, I kind of like it and, like, like see a lot of people, like, around the stadium and stuff, and, like, yeah. all the supporting in that. And my, my dad told me, like, he like he was happy when I make my debut. And he said, like, he asked me, like, what do I feel like if I want to go back to Indian or to stay league? And I said, I'll probably stay league. And I, I like more league now than Indian. Yeah. 
Fair enough. Bro. And you mentioned your debut there, round 20, 2021. You made your debut for the Warriors yeah. against the Tigers, played 80 minutes at centre as well at Suncorp. So how was yeah. that, bro? Your first NRL game, you're playing <laughs> one of the biggest stadiums. Must have been pretty crazy. Yeah. Nah, I was a bit nervous. I like, we doing warm-up and stuff. Like, it's been the first time, like, playing... And then came on the field, take my first carry, with them, like just like make me like feel normal. Yeah. But it's always hard, like the game is way fast. So I was a bit tired, like I'm feeling mm -hmm. the field, but I just trying to like keep it up with that voice. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. And you mentioned your parents, bro, and how proud they were. Did you ring them and let them know? How did you find out you were gonna be playing? Nah, we were meeting and then one of the boys got injured and then I'll go uh, get up and talk a lot. Uh, boys, I was, I was supposed to be 18 men on that week. Yeah. And then he just, like, we're going to the meeting before dinner. And then he told the boys who come, we were like, at least um, he needed to talk about something. And then he told, like, one of the boys got injured. And then you can have to come play in the middle. And then he told me I had to come play center on that, on that week. And I was a bit happy. I was like, my mom, I don't even know what to say. Like, yeah, I was just like happy, yeah, but I don't even know what to say on that on that day. I was just happy that like I make to play. Yeah, that's awesome, bro. And you were only eighteen when you debuted. Were you really nervous when you kind of first got into the team, or did the boys kind of get around you? Yeah, nah, the boy were like he's really gonna help me on the field, like come in, like on my back, just trying to like do what best I can do. Yeah, and um, they just told me like I just got a few and do what I do what I always does do and training uh, training and stuff like don't be nervous they call my back yeah and I like be happy like normal like feel normal when the boys always like help me a lot and then heading into this year you was the starting center before you picked up that knee injury and you played through the injury for the rest of the game because you got it in the first half but how frustrating yeah. for you was that bro because you grind through a whole preseason you get the start and then you hurt your knee yeah it's a pretty sad like they are tough busies and then i always think about if i can make the the first game on our on the season like yeah. always my like I always think about it. I, uh, I wish they can like play on the first game, but like we got a lot of our center on our team, and then I just like um our coach um tell me I'm gonna play on the first game, and I was just happy call my mom and dad tell them I play on the first game and they were part of me. Yeah, then I just after the got injured in the first half, I was like, first year, I just trying to like keep playing. I wanna play the whole game. Yeah, I don't want to like just go, go out and then sit there and then like look at the boys playing. I just like being for a tough preseason and this is the part I, I want to play and then yeah. I go into it. It's a bit hard. For sure. And then round eight, you came back into the side for an unreal win against Canberra and Golden Point and you scored your first ever NRL try. So how was that yeah, feeling, bro? First, yeah. No, I feel cool. Like, I was happy for my first try for this year. Yeah. And even uh, in our and I was, I was happy my mom and dad was called me after the game. They were happy, like, got my first try and, like, they just tell me I play cool, but, yeah. <laughs> and then, unfortunately, a few games later, you broke your jaw in the game against the Knights. And again, Funny. you pushed through to finish the game off, which was pretty crazy. But how hard was that, man? You just kind of got six games together. I think you'd scored five tries as well, playing really well, and then a big injury yeah. like that. Yeah, nah, I got I broke my thoughts to like one minute before halftime. And I can feel like like it broke it when I talk to the one in the pack is like stayed and the fun is going up. So then I went to the and I tell a physio like I broke my jaw and then had a test like and they say, no, nah, it's not broken. I feel like it's like my teeth is broken. Yeah. And then I say, I can feel like my, my jaw is broke. And yeah. now nah, it's broken my teeth. And then they're like, they asked me, good to play. And I said, oh yeah, then I got played in with my teeth. And I just went and play it. And when I run, it's hurt, like very hurt when I run. I can't even talk much. And then I play and we got another try. Then we kick off and I take the second carry. And then the, I think the winger, like, they hit me again right next to me, right where my jaw 
and I just get up on that one. Can't even like feel anything. Tell my tell the visual take me up. I can't do anything. I'm gonna let the team down if I keep playing. Yeah. And then yeah, I came out. She the doctor. She told me yeah, I'm out. I'm not like I'm not going back to play. And they call uh, they do a test and I pass the test. And then after the official asked me if I'm good to play. And I said, oh, yeah, I'll just put me back to play <laughs> just the last 10 minutes. Yeah, I just trying to like do my pass. I was, this is a tough year for me this year. Yeah. Get back to play. Then after the injury, then I have a six week off. And how yeah, was that, bro? Because I can imagine at the start, you probably couldn't eat. So you were probably having everything through a straw. <laughs> how hard was that? Like, like, yeah. I just drinking water, like, Use the straw and, and like make um milkshake and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Can't even eat. Lose that much of weight. Yeah. <laughs> and now uh, your first game back from the jaw injury was just a couple of weeks ago against the Bulldogs. Big win back at Mount Smart, and that was your first game at home. So how was that, bro? You score a try almost straight away in front of the home crowd and get a massive win. Nah, I I, I was playing Wycliffe. Two weeks before playing against yeah. the Bulldogs, and there's my first game back, and I just like, and I see the boys when they play against the Storm and Tigers at home. There was back, all the fans was over there. Even my uncle and dad, my uncle was like, he's like, like my father. Yeah. Like whenever I play back in New Zealand, he always there, even at school. Just like remind me when my father and Tonga, whenever I play like far away from my house, he's always there, even when he's like, Working, he just or oh, he always they come there, left the work and come and That's watch my game nice. and that. So he's like, he just like remind me, he's like my father. Whenever I'm playing, yeah. he always there. And I always like trying to like hopefully I play for against the Bulldogs at home. And then yeah, we play on the weekend. And Stacy came up on Monday, told me if I'm ready to play this week against the Bulldogs, and I said, oh yeah, I'm ready. I was just like. Once when he told me, told me that, I was just like happy, like I'm gonna yeah. play. And I, after they get home, call my mom and dad, tell them I'm playing at home. First game, man, my smart. I was training there, but I haven't played again, yeah. play on the field. Yeah, and I was so happy to, to play on the thing back at home, man, smart. And how was the crowd, bro? Was it as loud as you'd imagined? <laughs> nah, it was, it was like, I was so happy. When I was on a field thing warm, I was just like looking around. Yeah. To, like heaps of like fans in there. And I, uh, first time ever, like heaps of people around on the thing. And all my friends there, my my uncle and them. Yeah, I was pretty like happy. I was like so happy on that week. And we got that big win. Yeah. Uh, I was so happy. <laughs> Get that win. First game back. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. And I don't know if you saw online, but the NRL posted after that game that you were one of the top five fastest in the round during that round behind Dallin and Marcelo. So in a hundred meter race, bro, who would win out of you three? You, Dallin, Marcelo, who's the quickest? Yeah. I don't know. Still, that was a bit quick too, Dallin. Yeah. But we haven't raced like race yet. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> hey, too humble, too humble. <laughs> and our two games left in the season. You're taking on Penrith this weekend before heading back to Mount Smart to finish against the Titans. So what would you like to achieve in the last two games, bro? Is it just getting the start and playing well? Yeah, I just like need to start, like, start fast. I know Penrith when I like always start fast. Like I just like trying to like do what best I can do for the last two games. Yeah. Because um, my day is going to be here next week. Oh, when awesome. I watch my last game. First time ever. I've been like almost four, four years now. I haven't seen him. He even came watch my game once. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to do my best what I can this week to help the boys like get the win if we can. Like trying to do like what best I can. Like help the boys and. Hopefully we get a win this week against the Penrith. Yeah. For sure, bro. And it was announced earlier this year that you'd signed on with the Warriors till the end of 2025. So how have you found your time at the club and how easy of a decision was it for you to sign another contract? I was very happy like to resign against the uh, to, to stay at the club. Like I like the boys, they helped me a lot. Yeah. All that stuff, physio and 
and the coach and that they helped me a lot like to feel like what I came here to do mm-hmm. yeah I love like staying here with the boys like they always be by my side whenever I need something they always like tell me like what I need to do and stuff like not just them but like yeah, like it's make me happy, like make me proud of myself. Like I can do what I can when I think about it. Yeah. So they always tell me like whatever I can't do, you always can do if you like push yourself in air training and stuff. It like just like make me part of myself and they always like help me a lot. And that's real cool to hear. And I actually asked um Sean in the preseason, who was one player that we hadn't seen play much, who he thought was going to be yeah, like, huge for the team this year. And he mentioned you, bro. So I'm going to ask you, is there another young boy at the Warriors that we haven't seen play li- yet that you think is going to be big in the future? Um, Rocco was play a couple last year, I guess, yeah. 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 But I think he played me um, for, for the Queensland Cup. Yeah, he's like, like remember last year when when he playing, he like told me like I asked him like, how does he feel when he plays his first game in NRL? Yeah, because I was kind of scared when I was gonna yeah. play. Yeah, yeah. Then he tell me he's like pretty easy. It's like almost the same with the with, with the Kiwi Cup, but the difference a bit fast and they're like more stronger than anything. But I reckon if he couple of years like. He's like he's still playing means like on the Kiwi Cup for Wycliffe. Yeah. He's like solid, but if he play, he's trying to try his best like to play next year. And the year after that, I reckon he's like he should be like the best centre. Because when I watch him playing, he's like he's fit. Like he can do everything on the field. Yeah, he's unreal, eh? Yeah. And you're born and raised in Tonga, so no doubt playing for Tonga internationally is probably a goal of yours. Is that something you want to achieve in the future? Yeah, I always like was my dad. I always talk to my dad. I like ask him what you want me to do. Like, boys, I try to play for Tonga. Then he told me if I can pick for Kiwi too. Then yeah, if like he want me if I try to play for Kiwi if I can. And I told him, yeah, I'll try my best, like what I can do if I can play, if um, Kiwi pick me, if one of them, but if you Kiwi pick me, I'll try, um, I'll call Kiwi, like that's what my dad want me to be. I just want to do like what my dad make, like what to make my dad happy. And a few quick fire questions for you, bro, a bit more chilled, but who are your favorite players to watch in the NRL? Do you have anyone you kind of look up to or like to watch when you're not playing? Nah, I'm not like much what I'm watching yeah. footy like when I'm when I'm not playing and they I always like like watching Union. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who are uh, your favorite union boys, players, bro? Oh tough. Got a lot of boys. <laughs> yeah. But I like some of the boys from African team. Um William, I think, the fullback. Yeah. yeah, he's got a yeah, yeah, I always like watching him, even his highlight. Yeah, and yeah, what are your like, favorite things to do outside of footy, bro? When you're not playing, what do you usually get up to? Nah, it's like playing games on my phone, like yeah. playing PUBG. Yeah. And then yeah. bring it back to NZ, like or oh, one of my make or papa shop. So I always go there and like work with him, like cutting hair, push that stuff, practice cutting hair this year. Yeah. Do you cut any of the boys here? Yeah, some of the boys have cut it. Yeah. Even my yeah. um, Nella, early in them. Oh, that's awesome, bro. And do you have any like pre game superstitions or rituals, like anything you have to do before a game? Nah, I just like got my phone. Just like I just play games trying to enjoy myself before yeah. the game. I don't want to like get stressed, like going a few things up a lot before I get mistaken that. Yeah. I just trying to like go into it. I already know what to do, but you just need to go on the, like, on the field and like enjoy your playing. You just like you playing touch and stuff. You don't have to like worry, worry about anything much. <laughs> and I can see you're wearing a Lakers singlet, bro. So that might be the answer. But if you could play for any other team professionally, who would it be in any sport? Oh, like not footy in that. Yeah, or it could be rugby or it could be basketball or anything. 
Nah, I just went at this boy. Like, I like um, LeBron James. Yeah, same, yeah. bro. He's the man, I eh? Watch him, yeah. Yeah. But I will, I'll go sevens. I'll try to go sevens, play sevens. Yeah, no. Nice. That's why I like the most when they're going up, play sevens. Yeah, yeah, you'd rip that up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who's the biggest joker or pest in the team? Is there someone that's real annoying? Oh, always Walshy, which was hey, everyone says that. <laughs> always, eh? tell you that. always him, all the time. And uh, if you were going to be stuck on an island with three other Warriors players, who would you want them to be? Oh. Probably not Walshy, oh. eh? Because he's too annoying. Yeah, nah, not Walshy. <laughs> Probably like some Tommy boys. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Yeah. A couple listener questions for you, bro. Uh, what do you enjoy the most about playing center and do you want that to be your position long term? Yeah, I really like playing center. Like I get to know what like what you need to do in that. Yeah, it's like make me easier. Like center is like prepare a position for me from what I think. And do you have a favorite try that you've scored so far? You've scored a few now. Do you have a favorite one? Nah, I don't like it. I just at least like get a try. That's all I do. Yeah, make you happy, eh? Yeah. And who's the Warriors player you've learned the most off this year? Is there someone that's really helped you the most or even a coach? Start off this year. Um, Dylan always helped me because he's like, like, he's my winner on the side. Yeah. Even someone, yeah, Sean too. Sean always helped me, like, tell me what I need to do. Yeah. If I want, like, something. I need to work on like I don't I have to come and tell him like and he helped me don't be like shy like not say anything yeah and even now um, Nathan Pony like he helped me a lot too yeah. he always pushed me like tell me what I, I have what I need to do even last year yeah he come and tell me I would be like a better um a person to play and I always find like keep push myself for uh, like doing fitness and stuff he, yeah. like i already know like what i need to do on the field but it's just my fitness oh that's awesome bro well that's all the questions i've got for you so thanks for jumping on it's been cool to hear your story and good luck for the oh, next good. two weeks bro look forward to see you at mount smart cheers